why am I filming this in my car? Because my family's annoying the crap out of me. So I'm in zero visibility from my family, but literally my neighbor has full view of what I'm gonna be doing, which is eating in my car. <laughs> We've all done it. Really quickly, if you've ever watched the videos before, what am I gonna say right now? Every single time I start a video, five seconds in, I say this. Comment down below. Got our guesses? What am I gonna say? I need chapstick. Also, I just ran to the store to prepare for this video. Look at this. I just went to Walmart really quickly. I know a lot of people hate Walmart, but they have their Hawaiian shirts out. If you love like men's baggy Hawaiian shirts, they just came out with a bunch of designs. I got another one. You'll see it in a, another video, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> enough of the chit chat. Enough of the, uh, is that, is that, was that a catch up? Enough of the catching up. Listen, today's video, I'm going to be trying food, but I'm going to be doing brand names versus generic. Now I went on my Instagram and I asked a bunch of people, I said, what are your favorite brands of snack food? Because I got Cheez-Its, Doritos, Combos, Swedish Fish, Pepsi, is that a snack? Is, that, is Pepsi a snack for some people? I had a, I had a root beer yesterday as like a snack. <laughs> Stacy's pita chips. Those are good. Sour Patch Kids. I just said Jello. Jello as a snack? When is the appropriate time to eat Jello? If it's like not a dessert Jello. Is that like a 3 p.m. sort of thing? I don't know. A lot of Cheez Its on here. Okay, so you guys get it. I personally do not care about brands of any kind. I don't, I, I just told you to go buy a Hawaiian shirt. The only thing is, is that like a brand is familiar and it's like universal. If I'm gonna go get snacks for like a sleepover, a, a game night, whatever, if I'm, someone's like, oh, go get cookies, you're thinking of Chips Ahoy, Oreos. This is like in the US, I guess, Oreos. Only because how many other black crumble cookies with the cream inside, how many brands of those do you know? I only know Oreos. So I think people choose brands just because of familiarity and like I know what an Oreo tastes like you know I don't have to like guess I got a bunch of stuff today shall we begin ba -ba -ba -ba. and I just have water as a little a clarifier uh, what's that called like a mouthwash I just where I just rinse it and spit it in my car <laughs> so the first one is cookies okay so we have chips ahoy a very popular brand so it's like a dollar 25 for two packs of four cookies so eight cookies dollar 25 I'm gonna try and describe these in a way that's not like just generic words like good <laughs> yummy had these a million times like if I was blind smelling cookies I could tell that was chips ahoy the bread part of it is like light and it has like little air pockets in it. The chips in it, it's Nabisco. I think Nabisco has like their own chocolate line that they use. There's a crap ton of chocolate chips in here. They didn't skimp on them. And it's like just crunchy enough. It's not hard and it's not super thick. Like I think they have the recipe down. For the off brand or the lesser known brand, it's, I mean, they're all brands. So this is Little Dutch made. She has like clouds on her shirt. Look at her. <laughs> This was the same price, and there's gotta be 21 cookies in here. Now, I did pinch these cookies in the store to see if that makes sure that they were hard cookies, because I wanted if that one was gonna be a hard cookie. I want this one to be a hard cookie. This, this cookie snapped off like a carrot. Like, I was like, okay, immediately, these smell like honey vanilla-y. Why? Chocolate chips. Oh, these smell like, what's that brand with the, okay, just snuffed up so many crumbs. The brand with the elf and his little friends. I'm talking about the elf cookies with the, and they run up the tree. They're like shortbread cookies. This cookie has a hole in the center. Can you see that? All of them do. Almost like they were like sitting on a prong and they picked them up. Not nearly as many chocolate chips. Like it has really no texture to it. And it looks like it's been flattened out on the bottom, like a like a hamburger patty. They're not bad. They taste like airy, but without the flavor. They had to sell them for less because they forgot some of the ingredients. These taste like these are the testing batch of the Chips Ahoy. These cookies taste like you forgot your lunch, you're in the fourth grade, you ask, you know, the kid next to you if he can spare some of his food, and he throws you a Ziploc bag with three of these cookies in there, and he goes, I could live without these. Here, these are you're gonna wanna get a carton of milk for that. It takes until the third bite to taste something. The chocolate chips taste like little pieces of paper that got put into the mix by accident. Again, and if anything, they taste like vanilla. Where is the vanilla? It has vanilla, coconut. Yeah, I'm not seeing the word vanilla anywhere on here. They must have dumped the whole bottle of vanilla in here. Okay, so Chips Ahoy wins. I really couldn't find any generic off-brand chocolate chip cookies. These were like tucked away behind another product, which might explain a lot. <laughs> Let's move on. We have Goldfish, the Almighty. These are, I, Goldfish? Goldfish follow you throughout your life. They like you have them when you're a child. You eat them when you're older. Sometimes in college, you'd get those big, like giant, you know, carton of them. Every time you see them, you're like, oh, goldfish. Oh, I could love, I would love a cup of goldfish. The dollar store, and they've had this brand forever, and I think I've tried these way back in the day. These are whales, not goldfish. 
They're whales. They're stoffers, stoffers. Baked cheese crackers. I do like that he is on a surfboard. I feel like a big thing in anything cheese related snacking is they have to put a they have to put a picture of the block of cheese on the packaging. These are baked snack crackers and these are baked cheese crackers. So you could clearly there's a difference. Okay, goldfish. Goldfish always kind of smell like they have spice on them, like herby to me. Herby is the adjective of herb, I believe. I can eat <coughs> easily chokeable. I can eat like half a bag of these before my mouth completely dries out. Sometimes when you're eating these, they're like too hollow. There are many flavors of goldfish. I just like the original. I don't mess with the chocolate and the pizza. No. Where did the whales go? Okay. What does that smell? I mean, it smells like a lot of plastic and like sharp cheddar. Mm, a little bit of an aftertaste. Mm. Tell me that just doesn't look like the goldfish. These are they, they just have more flavor. They're more cheddar-y. Like, you know how Cheez-Its has an aftertaste sometimes? Sometimes you're eating Cheez-Its, there's like an aftertaste that lingers in your mouth. That's what the main flavor of these is. These taste like the aftertaste of Cheez-Its and it's very good. I think it's good. <laughs> Oop, I'm dropping food in my car. Snacks for Riley later. Oh, I should have brought Riley along. He would have been, he would have had no complaints about either. They're practically the same size, the whale of the tail. Is what makes it a little longer. You know what? If anything, these taste kind of burnt. That's what the flavor is. They taste burnt. Y'all should try these. They're good. Okay, whales it is. Y'all have let the wool be pulled over your eyes. I take back what I said. They're not lifelong snacks. Goldfish are for the uninformed. Whales? That's next level. I like to think outside the ocean. Oh! It was just fell. The whales almost just took a deep dive down into the ocean that is the passenger seat of this car. We got Pop Tarts versus to toast Toastums. To toastum Pop Ups. And this is a very good attempt at a name. And they said, What do you do with these? And they go, Oh, we just toast them. He's like, You what? We toast them. I feel like I'm going to open these up and this will be full. This will look more like the picture and this will not. <laughs> there's six in here for $1.25 and there's eight in here. Is this the price is right? $2.18. That's pretty good for the brand name. Now, Pop-Tarts, there was like a year gap on and off where I used to eat these for breakfast. And then I was like, these are dessert. These are no longer a breakfast food. Like they're so good as like a 10.30 PM sweet tooth snack. S'mores flavor and brown sugar cinnamon are the best. Don't come in the comments talking to me about blueberry, strawberry. Don't know. The fruit ones should just automatically be called toast them. I've always liked the blue coloring of their package. I don't know what happened to this one. Spilled off the edge a little bit there. I know how these taste. They're familiar. They're sweet. Mm. Pop-Tarts always get stuck in the corners of my mouth. I always feel like when you eat a Pop-Tart, all you're trying to do is take a big enough bite to get around this edge. When I used to eat the cinnamon ones, I would flip it over and I would take a knife and I would scrape through the back layer and then I would eat that. And then I would scrape and just eat the cinnamon sugar. Like I was dissecting the Pop-Tart and then I would just eat the frosting by itself last. The outside crust is not good. I don't know why they've never made it better. Pop-Tarts really just wants you to focus on the middle and what they've stuffed into it and just like forget about the bread. It just can't all be s'mores. It has to be some graham cracker. The chocolate part of a Pop-Tart. I don't know what kind of chocolate that is. I don't know if it's their own chocolate. It tastes very chocolate syrupy. Like chocolate syrup that you would put on ice cream. Now the s'mores part, which I think is a mix like of marshmallow fluff. As a kid, I never had marshmallow fluff. This is the first time I ever experienced fluff that wasn't a straight up like burnt marshmallow on a stick that I made myself. I think, I don't know if you could make this that much better, but I do feel like you could do a lot worse. Which brings me to the toastum. Generic white box. I do like that the marshmallow is flying off the box on this side. I like how it just says s'mores on the outside of the packaging. It smells like ink, like ink from a pen. Why does it smell? This made my eye twitch. The cho the chocolate smells rot. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's with the dark spots? Also, this looks like they globbed on. This one looks like they infused it, the Pop-Tarts. This one looks like they're just <clears throat> like right on top. Like there's not enough frosting. I think it's the cookie that smells. I think the cookie is a bad cookie. It's very soft, tastes like cardboard. Tastes like your grandma was digging around her pantry and she pulled out some old graham crackers from like 1977 and she's like, the kids will love these. Grandma, I just, no. The center looks the same, the same uniform of like chocolate marshmallow, chocolate marshmallow. The first flavor I'm getting <laughs> is coconut. Why am I getting so much coconut? These taste like those coconut clusters that are covered in chocolate. Tastes how vanilla smells. Is that making sense to anybody? 
Is it bad? Yeah. Is it eatable? Yes. I'd probably toast this to get some of the flavor out of it, but also like this is just off enough that I would spend the whole time eating it trying to think of what I like the least about it. When you're eating Pop-Tarts, you're distracted by the good flavors. Toast them every single time it gets near my mouth. I automatically smell it because it smells like danger. I'm being picky, but like compared to a Pop-Tart, not my favorite f like flavor profile. I'm just going to put that back in. But they're toast them pop-ups? I didn't even see that. And they basically use the Pop-Tarts font. That looks like the Pop-Tart font, does it not? They really toe in the line. They said, copyright, trademark, who? We're hoping when you look at this, you read the word pop-ups and think it says Pop-Tarts and don't look at the word toast them written in beige, brown, as, you know, as stale as whatever I just ate. Let's move on to these. I found these just sitting in a rack. These are called Juicy juicy Gummy Sour Watermelon Wedges. I like this little picture on the front. These don't look like watermelon wedges. These look like these watermelon wedges got ran over by your dad's F-150 on his way to the racetrack. Where did that reference? Oh, why am I just sitting in crumbs? <laughs> There's so many crumbs. <laughs> Heaven forbid I touch the back of my kneecap and it's covered in crumbs. Oh, they smell like the dollar store. Like the perfume of the dollar store really got in there. Then I found these also sitting on a shelf by themselves. I thought the bag was packed. These are just Sour Patch Watermelon Kids. I mean, again, very well-known snack. My friend growing up, she used to eat these all the time. She's addicted to this and Pepsi. We should do a we should do a pop, a pop soda. Try. Let me know if I should do that. Now these look a little more uniform. They always look the same <laughs> shape. Hmm. I know they're watermelon flavor. I always get a delightful kiwi out of these. As long as it's sour and gummy, I can handle that. These are good. Oh, this is by the brand Sweeto, Dearborn, Michigan. Women owned. Okay, well we're not bashing women. Even if these suck, we're not bashing women. Made with fruit juice. Okay. Okay. How do you open these? I'm a woman. I should figure. These do smell very artificially watermelon. These smell like sugar. <laughs> oh, they're oh, they're overly gummy. Sour Patch have a little structure to them. They have a little crust to them. Not a not a not a crust, but like a little form to them. These are very gummy. Oh, this tastes like gum. Mm. Mm -mm. Sorry, women. You ever had what is the I think extra extra gum? Makes a watermelon flavor. That's what this tastes like. Like immediately when I bit into it, I said, I'm not supposed to swallow this because this is gum. Sorry. But this, this is gold on the podium. This kid twisted his ankle halfway into the race and he's been in the locker room crying into a bag of these for the past hour. Dearborn, Michigan. We got to step it up. I do like the cartoon. I'm tired of this branding. We could we could switch it up a little bit. It, it smells like a watermelon air freshener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna put, I hope I never smell that again. <laughs> Recipes can be improved. <laughs> Me as a professional taste tester. Okay, how could you not do Cheetos? We're doing regular Cheeto puffs. These are just generic. I think my grandma and grandpa, when they lived in a camper and traveled the US, little fun fact, they always had off-brand Cheetos. <laughs> These are Brim snack foods. Oh, and they expired eight days ago. <laughs> Great! Why does it smell like I think the number one thing non-major brand companies need to work on is the smell. Why does your product smell like that when it comes out of a bag? Because before I even taste it, my nose already tasted it. Mm-hmm. 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 Same thing with the goldfish. I don't know how, what Cheetos recipe is, but the recipe is uniform and it's never changed and they locked it in. Generic Cheetos always also taste the same. It's like There's literally like there's two recipes. Like one has like one more cup of effort. I don't know. But I've had enough of these that these taste just as familiar as that brand. And I don't think it's bad at all. Like I said, I definitely ate a crap ton of these in my grandma and grandpa's camper. These are made in Bartlett, Tennessee. Cheddar and blue cheese. Maybe it's the blue cheese. There's blue cheese in here. And I don't know, seven different types of yellow dyes. Blue cheese. Maybe that's what it is. And I don't eat a lot of blue cheese. Never actually. I hate blue cheese, but not in Cheetos. Mm -hmm. No way this has blue cheese in it. Cheese seasoning, cheddar cheese, cheese cultures, whatever the hell that means. These are a little puffier. I feel like a little, a little redder. I just feel like these puff Cheetos really look on the inside and taste like a packing peanut. I think that's where they've always gone wrong. Why does this have such packing peanut flavor into it? And I feel like those were like soaked in cheddar and blue cheese and these were just lightly dusted on the outside. If I'm eating Cheeto puffs, that means I'm sucking on them until they're like dissolved into my mouth and that takes me forever to eat them. They're just not doing it for me. I like the generic. And just for fun, I got the I got Cheeto puff balls, cheese balls. 
Why do these have less flavor? These are like barely coated. These taste like a bad TV pilot where you're like watching a TV show and you're like, this isn't very, there's not a lot of substance to the show. There's no reason I want to follow the characters on this journey of life. Like if these were in a bowl at a party, I would put, you know, a five on my plate with other food. And then like, I might come back for seconds. But if like, for some reason, someone knocked over the bowl and it had to get thrown away and we never had to see the bag again, I wouldn't be upset. This is so much stuff to eat in my car. Should have brought a toothbrush out here. Ba -da -da, ba -da. Okay, I had to pick up a cereal. My golden foods, we brought you fruit rings. They're not loops, they're rings. These by color of the box look less colorful. I don't like Fruit Loops. They're okay. If I had to eat Fruit Loops, I would eat them dry. There's a Toucan Sam. I like him. I hate this. Why do these smell like cheap whiteboard markers? People enjoy eating these. I would rather use these for an art project than eat them. I'd rather glue these to a piece of paper and then spray paint it silver and slap it on my mom's refrigerator than eat these. I know I eat a lot of junk food. This sm These smell like chemicals. Also, are the different colors supposed to have different flavors? Because... All I'm tasting is stale sugar. And everything has like an overall hint of berry. Natural fruit, 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 fruit flavors. I don't know a single fruit that tastes like how Fruit Loops taste. But these, oh, so we definitely don't have the same colors. It smells like you just walked into a hotel bathroom and they just cleaned it. Where are all the blues and the, there's like no purple in here. These are better colored. Yeah, these are definitely way better colored. I feel like you can see the sugar coating on these. And at least on these, they tried to make them look colorful over like dusted white. Fruit Loops are smaller. They do, they have a better visual appeal, if any at all. And these look like jagged little pebbles that you found on the beach next to like a shard of glass and a cigarette butt. And they virtually taste the same. I'm not tasting a big difference. These are made in Dallas, Texas. Warning, consuming this product may expose you to chemicals including ac acrylamide, which is known to the state of California to cause of cancer and birth defect. Do not buy this. There better be the same warning on this. Oh, there's not. Don't buy, don't buy these. What in the, I just ate like seven of those. Okay. I was going to try and put them in milk to see with, compared to, I'm not eating any more of those. Right on the damn pack side of the package, on the bottom, they're like, we'll just sneak that in there. Disgusting. I'm sure a lot of food has a lot of things in it that cause cancer, but I've rarely seen that straight up on a box. May be produced with genetic engineering. This sounds like they shot this box up in space and then it circled or the earth and came back nine years later and they're like, maybe people will buy it off the shelf for $1.25. 20% more free of what? Chemicals? Shame on them. Shame! Causes cancer? Fruit rings? More like death rings? What are we doing? I just gotta sit here and think about that for a second because I just ate like, what, seven of those? I knew I didn't like Fruit Loops. I just got out of my car and came back in and it just overwhelmingly smells like those vanilla coconut like cookies and toastums. I'm gonna have to like get this thing like internally washed. Okay, for the grand finale, I saw this on a shelf again by itself. Sometimes the dollar store items are literally just scattered. Like this is a one of one product. Where did the rest of it go? Nes Nescafe. Can we focus up? Cold brew, latte, milk, coffee, cafe con leche. Smooth taste. Okay, chill and shake well. I was trying to find like the, you know, brand of this. This is um, Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. The only cold brew I get is from Dunkin'. I'm not a big cold brew fan. I really just have to like get into it. This is a dark caramel, black dark caramel, premium coffee drink, nitrogen infused cold brew. I don't think I'm gonna like either of these, but I'm sure you could taste a difference. Okay. I like skinny cans like this. It's a very small mouth hole. I'm just like, <laughs> Tastes like a lot of milk and like some burnt roasted beans in there. This tastes like I paid a dollar for it, considering how much I spend on coffee. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. <laughs> Believe me, I've had bad coffee. <laughs> Where am I gonna put this? I got food in my cup holder and cancer in my front seat. Yeah, I'm still pissed off about that. You should have seen me in the store today. I was grabbing and going and I didn't have a card, so I was literally like holding like soup and I bought this and then this shirt. The one lady was like, we have mirrors over there if you wanna see what the shirts look like. And I said, I'm getting distracted. I'm not even supposed to be over here. Like she's my mom and she's checking up on me. I always think Starbucks coffee tastes like burnt cigarettes for the most part. Oh my f Oh, that's the nitrogen. The moment you open it, creating a rush of creamy texture. Yeah, creamy texture all over my damn car. Just like with all Starbucks drinks, in store or not, it's not filled to the top. The Starbucks like refuses to fill anything to the brim. The aroma coming out of this. They roasted the hell out of these beans. And I'm getting the dark caramel. Not a normal caramel, a dark caramel. <sighs> like a pack of smokes. That, that one tastes like they sweetened it up. This one tastes like they literally bean water. Bean water. 
I mean, maybe if you like black coffee, this is your jam. I don't like either of these. If I had to drink one, it'd probably be this because I can't really figure out really what's all in here and I feel like it'd make my stomach hurt. This, at least I know it's just straight up black coffee. Who wrote this can? Generally shake can once, not multiple times. Pop open and pour hard, pour hard into a cold glass for maximum enjoyment. Maximum enjoyment. So what am I, half-assing it? Why would you buy the can if you weren't gonna drink it out of the can? Why do I have to do more steps? If I was gonna not drink it out of a can, I would have gotten like the big cold brew either from Starbucks or I would have gotten like the big jugs of it. The whole purpose is to drink it in the can. Okay, and I would like to get out of my car now. Okay, that was generic versus, you know, name brand, more well-known brands. I'm like full, but I'm not happy after eating any of that. None, none of those stood out to me, except the whales. I do like the whales. I'll eat those, everything else. I'm throwing the box of fruit rings away. It's all good in the neighborhood. All right, see y'all later. <laughs> I don't know what this accent is. See y'all later. It's the cold brew. It's turning me into someone else. I don't like it, but it's in my hand, so I keep drinking it. Fun fact, this is the chapstick I put in my pocket at work at the dog daycare. I also keep treats in that pocket. So along the rim of this chapstick are just crumbs of dog treats, which is disgusting. And that's why I moved it out of my pocket and I meant to throw it away, but now it lives in my car. We're getting closer to the trash can. I guess the car is kind of a trash can because it's not as clean as it could be.